Okay. Yeah, well, well, I think we're just going to get into it because um, we don't know whether we should begin with with Slick Willie, you know, Slick Willie Lynch, or whether we should begin um, by introducing our latest our latest book on, on language, and this is um, Ethiopic. This is a scroll called Ethiopic right here, Ethiopic. The first language, or our first language, but the title is Ethiopic. Ethiopic, the first language. It's a new scroll right here, produced by Line and Juice Society, and yours truly, Wendem Yadin or Ras Iadonis Tafari. I. Um, and this particular document right here. First of all, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So language is very important. This is one of the reasons why we thought it was necessary to compile our own scroll on Ethiopic. So much is said about um, language linguistically today. There's a lot of um, opinions out there, some of them true, evidence, factually based, some of them not. But what we've noticed most of all is that there seems to be a great ignorance to Ethiopic, to Ethiopic and the fact that Ethiopic actually is and was the first language, the first true language. And the root of Hebrew, what we call Hebrew and the Biblical Hebrew, the real code to figuring out the Biblical Hebrew is the ancient Ethiopic or the Gutas, the Gutas, the Lasana Agaazi or the Gutas language. And so this is our latest and newest scroll on Ethiopic, Ethiopic the first language and you can see we're going way back here in other words we're going right to the root going back to ancient Egypt you can see this is you know getting to the root in ancient Egypt but really before ancient Egypt was Ethiopia was Ethiopia the real root of it just like the Nile River uh, was called the Nile River or the the um, Ethiopic or the the river of Ethiopia scripturally, biblically. In fact, let's let's go to the scriptures for a moment just to reemphasize how our language and linguistics is very, very important. You all are familiar, should be familiar with when the Bible says or the wisdom of the scriptures says that in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. Now, if we go to the beginning of the scripture, we find that it says that in the beginning, Elohim created the heaven and the earth. And we also read about that we are to be the children of God in and through our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the, the Bane Elohim, and how Jesus Christ, or Yeshua, HaMoshiach, how he is the Bane Ha Elohim, who has brought about more more brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Also, the scripture points on these last days, quote, end quote, of the Gentile world dominion and the, the visible or the church age. Because this is what it speaks about when it speaks of the last, the last day. We have to put the last day in its proper context. But the real key is language, is the linguistics. And so this is why we was wondering whether we should begin this particular vid and this particular update to really remind ones and ones and bring it to their intention that we have a new scroll on Ethiopic, on Ethiopic, the first language. And we ask for ones and ones as they are able to, to get a copy of this. And we know that the course right now may be a little bit prohibitive to certain ones, and we're working diligently with our co-partners and others to make things more affordable and really to to spread the uh, the literacy 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 is very important not just literacy in the language that we are speaking english english literacy is very important in fact this is why we remind a lot of the brothers and sisters we know that one's reading and english and everybody has not had an opportunity to get a really so-called good education but the basics the three r's reading writing and arithmetic or arithmetic are very key and very essential and now with the whole technology and availability there are resources especially for those of us who are in the so-called 
Americas. There are resources for us to up our education, to up our, and we're speaking about not even before the Amharic and before that level, improve one's English ability, one's English language. If one has to go to one of the GED programs, I mean, this is this is what when we talk about Rastafari. When we talk about the movement, if we're going to be really serious and grounded, well grounded, we have to recognize that literacy is very important, and a lot of one's ability are, are not able to to read and write as they should. And there's a big um, not taboo, but there's a some may feel ashamed, and others may make others feel ashamed because they may have had a good education or education which afforded them the opportunity to read and, and write and so forth and so on. And they, even with the ability to read and write, are still functionally illiterate as well. They don't use the ability to read and write to really read and write about the things they should, but some of the nonsensical things. Well, time is of the essence. And when we say time is of the essence, we're speaking about within this present dispensation that we're in. And this is one of the reasons why we ask those who support this ministry to continue to, as ones are able to, with their prayers, with their tithes, their goodwill offerings, but most of all, as they are able to, to invest in education, invest in the other half of the story that hasn't been told. And this particular document, which proposes and proves and verifies that Ethiopic or the good is was the first language and is the first language, as well as the key and the code to understanding biblical, the Bible, the Torah, in its proper context. So get a copy of this today as you're able to. This is called Ethiopic, the First Language, published by the Line of Judah Society. So stay tuned, my brothers and sisters. More to come. Yah woman. Shalom.